Hello, and welcome to the show, this is Alokdot2, and today we are here on the Let's Play World, this is episode 127, and today we are going to be going over and enchanting our netherite armor as good as we possibly can, and we're going to be cleaning up our house uh, with a new storage system, hope let's just dive straight into the video. And while you're here, please do leave a like, and also if you are a new channel and want to see more videos like this, subscribe as well. Since last episode, we have been doing quite a bit of AFK fishing, and we have filled up this chest just slightly. And then we filled the entire storage system up about five times. Uh, let's see, but yes, we have been doing a whole bunch of AFK fishing, and because of that, our house is now just basically completely chock full of chests. And to cope with this problem, we're gonna go over and create a chest room in our new base. And hopefully we can toss most of this stuff into the new chest room, so we don't have so many chests just sitting around our house unorganized. And also, since last episode, including all of the stuff I just did there, I came out to get three mending books. A sharpness three mending and efficiency three book, a mending and protect projectile four book, projectile protection four book, and a piercing four mending book as well. I'm not sure what piercing does, and I'm not really sure what projectile projection does either. Alrighty, I am nowhere near done, but how many bows, you know, just enchanted bows, do you think a normal Minecraft player in single player should probably, you know, own? You know, maybe two or three bows, maybe? That might be about good, right? Well, I have run into a problem here, so I've done so much AFK fishing, I have not one shulker box full of bows, not two, not three. Not four, not five, but six entire shulker boxes full of bows. Yeah, I think we get a grindstone. If I'm not mistaken, the grindstone will de-enchant items. At least I hope so. Either way, yeah, let me just drop this off over to their house and I'll be right back. Also, let's get a grindstone just to mess around with it, because why not? Alright, let's see how good these, uh, what is it called, repair and enchant grindstones work. So here's a power 5 bow with 9 durability, and we have 69 levels, and it gets us to 70, and just a tiny little tiny pinch. So if we toss in this and pull it out, this is a pretty good way to enchant and disenchant, nice. Because right there was almost half a level, so if we need to do a bunch of enchanting, we have hundreds and hundreds of bows so that would be nice and then we could just kind of burn up all the bows in the pit of lava or fire so i guess we should make a trash bin in this house as well it seems all right a couple hours later i just realized i have reset my spawn point countless times i uh yeah that's probably the most time i've ever uh, reset my spawn point in the same day so you know that's at least something interesting for today Alrighty here, so we've gotten everything from our old house to the new house here, at least storage system wise. Well, okay, most of the stuff. Either way, so we've gotten ourselves a whole bunch of enchanting books, as you see here, going all the way up and completely almost filling up three, four, five chests roughly. And then over here, we have ourselves pretty much an entire uh, thing, uh, entire double chest full of leather boots. Very useless for me, but you know, I might use them because why not? Then over here we got ourselves a heck of a lot of water bottles and a little bit more water bottles. And over here we have not one chest, not two chests, not three chests, but four chests full of saddles. And then we have a heck of a lot of bows as well, which will just be for XP. Because, you know, XP bows are better than just not using them in the slightest. Then we got a whole bunch of fishing rods over here, perfect. And then over here we got ourselves a little bit of salmon, can I open the chest up? Yeah, we got a bunch of salmon in here, and then some in here as well. Over here we got ourselves some cod, I don't really have that much cod. Then over here we got ourselves a bunch of odd bits and bobs of fish, like pufferfish. Fun fact, don't eat pufferfish, it gives you poison. And then we got some nautilus shells and tropical fish. Don't know what I'm going to use those for. We got ourselves uh, 35 leather in this chest. And, you know, just, yeah, we got all of this sorted out. This is going to be just taken around with us because it belongs in a soccer box at this current moment. Either way, yes, we've gotten most of this stuff taken care of. We've gotten that many name tags. There's probably more name tags, but... 
for now, I'm not gonna bother uh, trying to find more name tags. Either way, I'm gonna grab one row of these fake bows, and let's see, you know, what we get out of it. So, we are currently at 70 levels, can I get to 80? And boom. Alright, so we've gotten ourselves a yeah, healthy amount, a pretty healthy amount. Um, so we might have, you know, maybe 30 or 40 levels worth of bows right there, which is nice, sorta. I mean, we need a lot more bows than that, but, you know, we have a healthy amount of bows. Also, the squid farm seems to be working sorta now. Um, so basically, the squids, a lot of the squids are spawning over, no, don't fall in here, darn. Um, see, the squids are having a problem. They are not doing what they're supposed to do, and they're sort of just sitting there. Uh, they're supposed to come down here and, uh, yeah, they're not supposed to be up there. And as you see, they're, they're, it's actually going up, which is not what we want. But, uh, from what I have been thinking of, uh, we need to go over and, uh, get our sponges and kind of place the sponges down all over inside here, okay? You know, just to get rid of all the water that's not inside of there around here and hopefully maybe more squids will spawn we can squid spawn in here i don't know we'll get rid of that water as well but yes we want to get rid of all the water so we can guarantee all the squids possible will be inside of there so i'll get some sponges and stuff and i'll be right back after traveling about three ish thousand blocks all the way over to our guardian farm traveling all the way to the village traveling to the stronghold traveling all around the world I have finally found our sponges. It was in the most obvious place, right in front of my house. Um, and it's about as far, you know, and I walked, it's probably about as far as I could ever walk to get to it. Either way, so what I want to do here is I want to just slightly come into here and do that. And do that a few extra times, just around, just to get the big portion of the water up. Alrighty here, so we've gotten every single, don't fall into here, we've gotten every single water source gone, including our waterfall. Hopefully this helps out with the spawn rate, and hopefully these squids actually go down, because it is working. See down there, there's a squid, I guess if it touches, if it touches the magma block, it goes down, at least I think that's how it works. Not 100% sure, I'm gonna have to work out how to get this farm working better than it is. But for now, it's, uh, you know, it's slowly, but it's working, okay? Um, in that amount of time, you know, 17, okay, so we got 31 ink in here, okay? We're gonna take every bit of ink out of here, and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, okay, well, more ink's in here. So we're going to just, you know, just leave it alone, and it's slowly producing ink. Not exactly sure what it's doing, but it's producing ink, and I will just leave it alone. Either way, so now, I guess it's time to get our, uh, what's it called, armor enchanted. I can almost safely guarantee we're gonna need another anvil, so let's get another anvil perfecto. And now I guess it's time to get ourselves more bookshelves, because, we, well, we need more bookshelves in this, because at this current moment, it is only, that's not how you enchant anything, and I cannot enchant anything in my inventory. At this moment, it's not level 30, I can guarantee you that. There you go, some unenchanted iron boots. Uh, what level is it? We are currently level 24, so we want to get up to level 30. So, I'm going to go over and get ourselves a little bit of uh, leather and stuff, and I'll be right back. I feel like there's leather somewhere in our house, actually. Well, we have 64 and 23 of these leathers. That's quite impressive to say at least I uh, didn't know we had that many pieces of leather in our house. So, you know, that's a uh, call for a celebration, maybe, I don't know. Either way, now we can go over and, uh, let's see, make bookshelves out of it. And, let's see, bookshelves are made of books. And I'll make the bookshelves and I'll be right back. Alrighty here, so we've gotten ourselves four bookshelves, which should be more than enough, let's see, that is level 26, so this should be level 28, yeah, alright, and if we put this down, this is a level 30 enchant, right? I don't want to, no, I don't want to enchant the crafting table, I want to enchant this, yes, so we've gotten level 30 right now, so that's, okay, that's what we want. So let's just toss our stuff away, I've gotten way too many books apparently. Either way, now we can go over and freely enchant our netherite goodness. And let's come over to here and test it out. So boom and boom. So we want to go for the pants for the fire protection. 
So where did I put my lap boost? It's nighttime. Okay, let's not go out there. Is it over here or is it over here? Ah, oh, perfect, uh, perfecto. All right, so I guess that's to be enough. All right, so let's head back in, not let any creepers in, and get enchanting. I want my fire protection three. Yes, and I'm breaking three. So that is pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. Protection three. I think you can get better than protection three if I'm not mistaken. Wait, I'm gonna test that out on a anvil here so we're gonna get two protection three books and we're gonna combine them together and if i'm not mistaken that will give us protection five protection four so it costs seven levels that way and it costs four levels this way so yeah i don't think we want to get that protection three too much because protection five is better than protection three all right so we're going to ignore that one all right let's see what else is there in here nothing okay so let's go for the netherite boots, a depth strider. Um, yeah, let's let's go for the depth strider, okay? Cause that's a pretty good enchantment, at least in my book. So where's the lapis? Right here, okay. Depth strider and protection three. Okay, well we can take care of that, no problem. See, so this one is the same protect fire protection on both of those and protection three. Um, I rather not go for the protection three. What's for this one? Exactly the same. So I guess we're going to just go with Protection 3, that's the worst enchantment I can ever get, and let's go for, uh, hmm, that's a good one. I would say Respiration 3, and we got Protection 3 as well. Alright, so we've gotten all of our armor completely enchanted, now we want to get all of our books as good as we can get them, because, you know, currently we want better books than this, so we want to get Protection 5 on everything. That's number one. And we want to get our uh, feather falling on the boots. So let's just start working on the boots. I know it's not feather falling five, but I think we have more feather falling. So I'm going to try to make ourselves the perfect set of books here, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so if I'm not mistaken, if we put the, uh, what's it called, mending and stuff on here, then we get this book here. It's protection four. It's unbreaking three. It's feather falling that. Oh, it's not working. Ah, oh, there you go. And it's all of that stuff there, so that looks pretty good. So protection, depth strider three, mending, uh, feather falling four, and I'm breaking three. I don't think it can get much better than that, so let's take it. So we've gotten ourselves an OP pair of boots. Alright, so now it's time to go for the other stuff, like, uh, let's see, well, what is there? Everything. Alright. Alrighty, so this should technically be the rest of the stuff I need to do. So we just want to get ourselves protection, you know, for right here. Just like so. Where is the boots? I got rid of them over to here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. So if we go over... Okay, the XP is still over here. Okay. So if we do this, we toss our armor into there. Toss... Um... I am completely confused, okay then. So let's find another protection book, and this time let's not even touch anything, and let's try to put it on it and see what happens. So if we just go over and toss this and this together, or uh, this and this, okay. Huh. Okay, we have a actual completely, um, what's called protection book. So if this doesn't go on, what? I'm relogging, okay? I am relogging. This is weird. Yeah, I have done something probably uh, horribly wrong, and I'm not exactly sure what, because I want protection. Okay, whatever. Um, I will just wear them like this. You know, it's better than what I'm, you know, normally wearing. So, you know, it's it's all good, okay? It's all good, because only thing I'm wearing normally that has protection is just my pants, and uh, if nothing else has protection, so. You know, this is still technically a step up. And we're flying into the ground already. Perfecto. Either way, let's go home and wear our armor and see how we look. Because, you know, this is quite expensive armor. Two episodes of work to get this armor set up. So this will be awesome, hopefully. Well, putting the armor on, I found a Minecraft bug. As you see here, my character is not shining. And it doesn't sign with this on either. None, no, no enchanted gear is signing. Besides the elytra, it seems. Because, you know, boots, they look exactly normal. They are not signing with enchantment. So, yeah, I'd just like to point out the game's not working. But either way, we are now fully enchanted with netherite. Uh, we literally, what? 
Sure then, whatever. Um, yes, we are completely enchanted. The game's completely broken. Brilliant. Indeed. So, now it's time to go over and get whacked by a few mobs and see how we, uh, you know, react to mobs hitting us. Alrighty here, so me versus a zombie. Who will win? And how much damage does the zombie or... <laughs> You're, I just came in, I, I'm invincible, literally invincible, I need to get mending on that sucker, but that, I am now invincible, quite literally, what if I just take the chest plate off and put on my normal armor like I would normally be, let's see how good we fare now, cause, yeah, I mean, we're, alright, yeah, we're taking some damage, oh, yeah, we're we're getting down there. All right. Well, we, yeah, we're gonna have to get better, you know, protection on our boots and whatnot. But you know, we're doing quite nice actually. To be honest, I feel quite safe. Now, would I, you know, rate it currently the best armor in the game? It is technically yes. Uh, it is the best armor in the game. Is it very, you know, protective normally? Or for example. Skeleton. So you do one heart of damage. Half heart. You do half heart of damage. Okay. So that right there is pathetic. But what if I switch my armor over to this? It's doing half heart of damage. Now, of course, you know, still be cautious during the night time, though, because, you know, you'll still die eventually. But uh, I, I would say currently we are blowing creepers up but I would say we are close enough to invincible um but is it just me or do creepers get harder to deal with but for example this guy he has a enchanted bow what did the bow have on it let's let's look real quickly here the bow has punch on it and I think that's more like a you know a not punch or let's let's just put our normal armor back on and keep going so he's, I'm very impressed in this this is awesome. He didn't do any damage that time. He did literally zero hearts. Zero hearts again. S skeletons, you do. You're 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 not doing anything. You aren't hurting me. Neither will you or you. Why do I have? I don't know why I put knockback on the sword, but whatever. Ah, uh, I like this. I'm gonna go around killing stuff <laughs> all night long. I cannot believe that I'm invincible like this. Quite literally, is insane. Alrighty, here we've just made a Enderman man. What do you do? You do a whopping half a heart of damage. Wow, I'm so danger. I'm so in danger. Half a heart. That is so hard. I can't handle it. I'm just kidding. I've already regenerated all of my health. Normally, you know, if I were to be playing Minecraft, that would actually do, you know, a bit of damage. In this situation, not in the slightest. Yeah, this is pretty OP armor. This is pretty OP armor. Come into here and make Thunderman mad at the same time, and I will still survive, I guarantee. Good day, Enderman. How are you? You're doing good, eh? Alrighty. Let's kill these guys as well. Okay, I'm, I'm taking the axle some damage. Okay, yeah, I'm taking damage. I guarantee I'll die eventually. But I'm not worried at this exact moment. Because I have plenty of health still to spare. And I still don't have the armor as souped up as I technically could get it. But I think most of the damage came from the Enderman. It really is not a good chest place, but that's no big deal. That's, this is just awesome. If you do like this armor, please do leave a like on the video. Uh, but yeah, for real, this, this armor here makes it quite hard to die in Minecraft. So, that's awesomely awesome. I don't know why I'm killing so many mobs now. Oh well, whatever. Either I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like. And subscribe if you are new. Um, it does help out, and... If you want to help more than just subscribing, tap that notification bell and subscribe. That is the ultimate way. Hello there. That's the ultimate way to help. Ah, I'm on fire. I have fire protection though on my armor, so I am 
fine. Either way, see y'all next time. Don't forget to put mending on your enchanted armor. Have a wonderful day. And fun fact, running and jumping with Elytria on, on ice is very efficient, fitly fast it seems. Have a wonderful day, and lock is out. I look like a porcupine. Brilliant. Oh dear. Thank <laughs> you.